All right, we are making a drawing of a turkey in a disguise based on the story Turkey Trouble by Wendy J. Silvano. So um, I'm using a half a piece of copy paper that I just, um, well, I folded in half a regular size. So now I'm just drawing on half of it. So I'm going to start with the turkey's head. And then curve down for the neck. And I'm going to draw the beak. I'm going to make the beak open and smiling. And I'm going to draw this thing that hangs over the beak and curves down. And I looked it up and this is called the snood. S-N-O-O-D. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to draw the eyes. And some eyelids. And then the curves inside the eyes. And two little circles inside that. All right, then I'm going to draw the rounded part for the body. And then where the legs come in here. And I would suggest you draw with pencil first. I'm drawing with marker because it shows up better on the video. And I've had practice at this. I'm going to draw curves for the feet here. And we need the turkey's wing. And then the feathers on the back. So first we have to draw the turkey, then we have to draw the disguise that's on the turkey. So um, the illustrator is Lee Harper. So we want to use our illustrator as our um, artist for this project. Okay, so now I'm going to try to disguise the feathers as carrots. So I'm just going to make some curving lines. Along the edges. And then some little leaves. Okay, then I'm going to draw some ears, bunny ears, because my turkey is disguised as a Easter bunny. And then another bunny ear over here. And then some whiskers. And a bunny nose. <clears throat> and then um, a little fluffy part here for the chest on the bunny. And a little fluffy bunny feet. And fluffy tail. 
and then I turn this wing into a basket. So you can just curve the wing, sort of looking like it's going around the body now, <clears throat> and curving the other end, looking like it's wrapping around the body. And then you can just go from the lines of the wing and just sort of curve those around. And then you can add in some more curve lines to make it look more like it's a basket. And then inside the basket, I made some Easter eggs. And then at the bottom here, I'm going to make some grass. So it's going to sort of camouflage the rest of the turkey legs. And then we can try to focus more on the bunny's disguise. Okay, and then I would work on coloring that in. So I had red here for the snood. And then pink for inside the ears and the nose and the belly. So when I was drawing this one, I had a rose pink, which was a little bit darker. So I just left some white in between to try to make it look lighter. But this time when I'm working, I have a lighter pink marker. So you just use what you have. So in the turkey trouble story, the turkey was... putting on disguises to try to avoid being eaten at Thanksgiving time. So this was a disguise that I came up with for my turkey. So the turkey was being very clever and now he has a good disguise. <clears throat> I'm 
try to prevent him from being eaten. All right, and good luck with yours. I hope it turns out just fabulous for you.